What's up, everybody? It's Matt Dibler here. It is Tuesday, December the 1st. My goodness, seems crazy. December the 1st. Um, it's been quite some time since I've done any kind of video content uh, for LinkedIn or, or any other social media platform. I've really been uh, head down, focused in um, completing my manuscript. And that is, is coming together quite nicely. It looks like we're going to be uh, getting ready to launch the book in either mid-February, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, or early March. Um, so more details to follow on that, but I wanted to do a quick uh, video here for you this morning and remind you that, you know, being that it's December, we're starting to have colder nights, really kind of chilly mornings. Um, it can be easy to fall into a pattern of sort of lethargy in these cold winter months. And that lethargy can then lead to, you know, depression, anxiety, all the things that come with, you know, being sort of cooped up inside. And, you know, we're also experiencing uh, with the pandemic, um, there's sort of partial lockdowns taking place in, in our country and in other parts of the world. So it can be easy to be consumed, um, you know, by your home right now. And I, I lived that many years ago, you know, I, I was agoraphobic and it was hard for me to escape, um, you know, the four walls in my one bedroom apartment at the time. And I can tell you that, um, you know, quickly the walls can start to close in on you. And winter is a time when a lot of us are, are vulnerable. We're vulnerable because we are shut in, you know. Um, we don't have the ability to get out as much. The days are shorter. So, you know, by early evening, it's getting dark in the sky and you don't have the opportunity to like get out and take walks perhaps like you may have done in the spring or the summertime or even in early fall. You know, winter is approaching and, um, you know, you've got to take it with the mindset that you're going to, you know, essentially win the winter. And so um, this morning, you know, with, with all that's been on my plate recently, and I say that and it's, it already sounds like an excuse, right? It sounds like an excuse to say all that's been on my plate. I've been away from my early morning routine a bit. And I can tell you that that's impacted me, um, you know, physically and psychologically. So I've been wanting to make this commitment to get back to you know, my rise before uh, the sun to get out and spend my alone time with my creator um, in prayer, in praise, in just reflection, you know, to prepare myself for the day ahead, uh, for what lies ahead in the week. And uh, this morning, you know, I got up um, long before the sun and went out and, and did a run. Now, I can tell you when my alarm went off, my initial reaction was, to just hit the snooze or maybe turn it off all together, all together and go back to sleep for another hour or two. Um, you know, my body was saying, no, I didn't have an extraordinary amount of sleep last night. I didn't get to bed as early as I would have liked. So I could have made every excuse imaginable to just avoid it, you know, put it off till another time. But I decided to fight that urge to fight that temptation and just get myself up anyway. And once I started moving, it was amazing um, to feel kind of the Lord and the Spirit come over me and just give me this jolt of energy. It was this sort of renewal. By the time that I started walking down the stairs and into the kitchen where I was just gonna go, you know, grab a drink before I went out and started running, I had already, you know, sort of warmed up. And then when I got outside, it was just, you know, kind of magical, just staring at an almost full moon and, um, you know, having that chill in the air. It was beautiful. And then I watched the sunrise and, and I had a really phenomenal experience this morning. And I think about how easy it would have been for me to deny myself that opportunity, for me to have that focus, that clarity, that peace that came with an early morning start. 
I think about the, you know, the truth that is revealed in those moments. I spend generally about an hour or so running, usually between 50 minutes and an hour. And um, I like to put on something thought provoking, you know, something that encourages my faith, like in, in my AirPods. So I'll generally listen to a sermon or two um, during that time. So today I had two sermons and then uh, a little bit of music at the end of the run. But um, I can tell you something always comes out of it. Some kind of inspiration always comes out of it. And I think what I wanted to share in this message today is, you know, sometimes you've got to resist the urge of your flesh because it's lying to you. A lot of times it's lying to you. You know, for the last, I don't know, month or two, where I've been not as committed to this routine, where I've been away from it, my body has lied to me. It's told me that like, I need more sleep. There's no way I can get up early. Ah, oh, it's cold outside, you know, winter's coming. This isn't, a, this isn't a good time to be out exercising early in the morning. You know, every imaginable excuse. Can't get to bed early enough, all these different things. Too much to do. It's all a lie. Because last night I had, I don't know, five hours of sleep. And I woke up and did it anyway. And just the act of actually stepping forward in faith and trusting, you know, God to, to energize me and inspire me to, to get me through a run. That was, that was enough. Like that was the fuel right there. And it's crazy how, you know, thinking about it, a lot of times to create more energy, we have to spend some. You know, you could sleep for 10 hours and you could wake up just feeling totally depleted and like you could just go back to bed for another day or another week. But sometimes if you get up on five or six hours of sleep and you just get moving, it's amazing what God can do, how he can use that commitment and the energy that you expend for, for him for his purpose to refuel you and give you energy that will just carry you throughout your day and throughout the rest of your week. It's, it's, it's just amazing. Um, when I started running in the summertime, it, it wasn't about running. It was just about spending time alone with God. And then I watched what he did with me, um, you know, in those mornings when I was just committed to, creating space for him. He improved my health dramatically. I lost like 25 pounds. My heart rate was down below 50 beats a minute. I was resting better. I wrote a book. Transformed my life. So don't be fooled, you know, because it's December, because it's, because it's dark, because it's getting colder. Don't be fooled into thinking that you can't still you know, rise early, create a powerful routine that will jumpstart your day and, and carry you perhaps through the rest of your week is still available to you. Yes, the groans of the flesh are a little more intense in the wintertime, but you've still got the power of God in you. And he can overcome anything, particularly that kind of stuff. In an instant, he can wipe it away and, you know, he can give you the opportunity to, to really create space for him and find him and find your clarity and health and peace and everything else in the midst of whatever opposition you face. Cold weather, dark days, chaos in the world around us. It's available to us every day. We just have to choose it. Go out and win this winter. I love you all. God bless.